This is KHQA News at 10. It's your news now. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Monlock. We hope you're having a Merry Christmas. The holiday season is in full swing, and people may be rushing onto the roads to get to that holiday gathering with family or friends. My family doesn't necessarily have the hot potato thing, but that seemed like an interesting new tradition for uh, there you the go. holidays, that works. I suppose. Yeah, Pass a my gift, hot potato. Hot Get potato, it. might as well. The Tri-State Warrior Outreach reached out to help a local veteran after he recently suffered a stroke. James Detlaff is 80 years old, a Navy veteran, and after suffering a stroke this fall, is now bound to a wheelchair. Two firefighters are dead and two more are injured in a small town near Rochester, New York. A University of Illinois student is hoping to raise money for those affected in last week's tragedy at Sandy Hook Elementary. We've all heard the phrase, pay it forward, turning someone's good deed into another for someone else. In the midst of the Christmas holiday, hundreds of people are warming the hearts of strangers by the way of a Starbucks drive through Americans are inching closer to the fiscal cliff as lawmakers leave issues unresolved. And there's Ashley <laughs> and her new baby lamb. Most important member of the family How looks about like that. that is crazy. I, I'm, I've never, never had a live that. gift. Did you ever get a live gift for Christmas? No, I trust my parents wouldn't wrap it properly and then it would be some sort of trouble. So <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I always tried to avoid asking for uh, an animal for Christmas. <laughs> That's probably sound advice. Yeah, I, I like to think so. <laughs> a powerful winter storm is moving across the country, creating sleet, snow, and possibly some twisters. 